You're doing everything right. You're watching your calories, you're trying to exercise, but the scale doesn't move and your legs still feel heavy, painful and swollen. If you have lipedema, you know the fat is very stubborn. But there's a metabolic switch that makes lipedema significantly worse. And for many of you, that switch is stuck in the on position. Hi, my name is Dr. Alexey Markov. I'm a double board certified plastic surgeon specializing in lipedema treatment. Today we are talking about insulin resistance. We're going to cover what it is, why it's destroying your progress with lipedema, and exactly how to fix it. First, we need to change how you think about this condition. Insulin resistance isn't just just a bad luck. It's a physiological response to modern lifestyle. In our modern Western diet, we are constantly flooding our bodies with the carbohydrates and sugar, and we are constantly snacking. Every time you eat, whether it's just a bagel for breakfast, latte at 10 a.m., or a healthy fruit snack in the afternoon, you spike your insulin level. Because your insulin levels are high all day long, your cells eventually stop listening and stop responding. They become deaf to the insulin signals. That is insulin resistance. And because your cells won't listen, your body pumps out even more insulin, screaming to be heard. You end up with chronically high insulin levels. And remember, insulin is the hormone that tells your body to store fat, not to burn it. And this condition is extremely common. Recent data suggests that nearly 40% of young adults in the United States already have insulin resistance. Over one in three American adults has prediabetes. In Western society, this is just a new normal. But for lipedema patients, this is even more dangerous. Lipedema is an inflammatory condition, and high insulin besides fat retention also drives inflammation. Lipedema also involves fluid retention, and high insulin makes your kidneys hold on to water and to salt. So if you want to manage lipedema, you must lower your insulin. So how do we fix it? We need to let your body hear the signal and become sensitive to insulin all over again. You do this with three tools. First, what you eat. To drop insulin, we must remove the foods that spike the insulin levels. This is why I am a big advocate for a low-carb, ketogenic, or even carnivore diet. When you eat the nutrient-dense fats and proteins found in carnivore keto diet, your insulin barely goes up, barely rises. You stop the constant screaming match, and your cells begin to heal and hear the signal. Second, when you eat, you need to stop snacking. If you want to practice intermittent fasting, eat two or three satisfying meals a day with a specific narrow window and do not consume any calories in between. This gives your body long periods of silence of, or low insulin where, where it can finally switch from storage mode to a fat burning mode. And third is the movement. We need to use our muscles to soak up the glucose in the bloodstream. However, we have to be careful with the high impact exercises that can hurt the joints and spike cortisol. I have a video entirely dedicated to the best exercise for lipedema right here on this channel, so check it out. But in summary, prioritize swimming, walking, and resistance training. These low-impact movements improve insulin sensitivity without aggravating your lipedema symptoms. If you suspect you might have lipedema, please know you're not alone. It's not your fault and there are knowledgeable healthcare professionals who can help. I hope you found this video helpful. Please click the like button and subscribe below. Thanks so much for watching.